It's exciting to come your way once again as we journey through this wonderful journey in additional mathematics. I believe you are excited, you are finding it very easy, and you are able to relate the additional mathematics to real life world problems. My name is Nana Yawedu, and you can call me Say Nana. Remember to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can get all videos on time. We've been looking at how we can evaluate functions by substituting a value into a function, just like how football players are substituted. Now, let's consider another question on how we can evaluate functions. So in this lesson, we are looking at how we can evaluate functions. I want to consider another question. So let's look at the question. The question says that if g of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3, simplify. So we have a series of things we must do. We must evaluate g of 3. We must evaluate g of minus 8. We must evaluate g of a plus 1. And then we must evaluate 3 multiplying the function g of 5. Right, so let's look at how we can solve this question. So basically, we have been given a function. Let's try that function out. So the function is a function g of x, which is equal to 2x squared plus 3. Right. So in our first question, which is the a, we are expected to evaluate. So our a, we are expected to evaluate g of 3. So by now, we know that for g of 3, wherever we see x in the expression g of x, we put 3 there. So it means that we have 2 multiplying the expression 3 all squared plus 3. Now, g of 3 becomes equal to 2. 3 squared gives us 9 plus 3. So now g of 3 becomes equal to 2 multiplying 9 will give us 18 plus 3. So it means that our g of 3 becomes equal to 21, right? So it means that we have a domain 3, which gives us a range 21 in the function g of x, which is equal to 2x squared plus 3. In the next question, we must evaluate g of negative 8. So we've been given a function g of negative 8. So we do same. Wherever we see x, we put negative 8 there. So we have 2 multiplying negative 8 all squared plus 3. So it means that our g of negative 8 becomes equal to 2 multiplying negative 8 squared gives us 64 plus 3. Now when we multiply 2 times 64, we get 128. So our g of negative 8 becomes equal to 128 plus 3. So it means that our g of negative 8 becomes equal to 131. Right, so that is g of negative 8. And that implies that our domain, negative 8, in a function 2x plus 3, gives us 131, right? It gives us only one answer, exactly one element in the code domain. Now, let's look at the next question. So, in the next question, we've been asked to evaluate g of a plus 1. So, we have g of a plus 1. So, in this case, Wherever we see the function x in the g of x, we are going to put a plus 1 there. So it means that we are going to have 2 multiplying a plus 1 all squared plus 3, right? So from binomial expansion, we know that g of a plus 1 implies we have 2. We have a plus 1 multiplying another a plus 1, right? So a plus 1 all squared is equal to a plus 1 and another a plus 1, right? So we can put that into a bigger bracket, plus 3. So now we can have g of a plus 1 to be equal to 2 multiplying. We have a, we take the a, and then we multiply it over the expression here. So we multiply it over a plus 1. And then we now come and take a plus 1 and multiply it over the expression a plus 1. Right, a plus 1. So... Once we are done with that, we are going to add plus 3. So we are going to expand this and have g of a plus 1 to be equal to right, 2. Let's do the bracket first. So a multiplying a gives us a squared. a multiplying 1 gives us a. 1 multiplying a gives us a. And then 1 multiplying 1 gives us 1. 
right plus 3 so it means that our g of a plus 1 becomes equal to 2 right a plus a a plus a gives us 2a right so i want to look at it one by one by adding the like terms so when we add the like terms here a plus a gives us 2a right so it means that i'm going to have 2a here plus 1 right plus 3 so it means that from having a plus 2a plus 1 we are going to simply expand so we have our g of a plus 1 to be equal to 2 multiplying a gives us 2a 2 multiplying 2 right this squared so 2a squared plus 4a right 2 multiplying 1 gives us 2 so plus 3 so you have g of a plus 1 to be equal to 2a squared plus 4a we have like times 2 plus 3 which gives us 5 so it means that our g of a plus 1 when we substitute it into the expression 2a squared plus 3 gives us a range or a codomain which is 2a squared plus 4a plus 5 right now let's look at the final one we are asked to evaluate 3g of 5 so we want to evaluate 3g of 5 so we want to evaluate 3 of g of 5 right so it means that what we are going to do is that first we must multiply the expression 2x plus 3 by 3 so 3 will multiply the expression 2x plus 3 and wherever is, we see the x as well we are going to put 5 there so we are going to have 2 5 all squared plus 3 right because the function is 2x squared plus 3 so we have done that direct substitution and it implies that 3 of g of 5 right 3 of g of 5 of g of 5 will be equal to 3 let's work the bracket squared first so we are going to have 2 5 squared gives us 25 plus 3 and 3 g of 5 will be equal to 3 2 multiplying 25 gives us 50 plus 3 so i'm taking it step by step so you are able to follow so 3 g of 5 now becomes the bracket gives us 53 so 53 so we have 3 multiplying the expression 53 right so we have 53 here right and that implies that uh 3 g of 5 is going to be equal to 3 times 53 will give us 156 right so we have gone through series of questions where we have evaluated a function by substituting values into the function in our next lesson we want to look at operations on functions which is also how we can evaluate functions by performing addition subtraction and multiplication on functions see you in the next lesson <laughs>